Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 24th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's get to your reading, Scorpio. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Wands reversed. And next we have the King of Wands in the upright, Followed then by the Seven of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Scorps, you have the Hierophant in the upright position. The Hierophant is interesting energy, very intense, very serious. <laughs> some of the Scorpios are getting very serious this week. Maybe some of you are getting married. The Hierophant can represent making a major commitment. For some of you, you could be committing to a, a relationship, a, a a long-standing relationship maybe you're taking it to the next level for others of you maybe you are getting married this week um, for others of you the um, Hierophant can represent um, spirituality and religious um, sectors of our life so maybe some of you are actually uh, committing to a new uh, congregation a new church or others of you could be uh, committing to a new spiritual group but there's a major commitment uh, sort of looming over Scorpio this week and it could be even about a, a career or a job situation maybe some of you get a very serious offer uh, this can govern sometimes schools and the government and that kind of energy too so maybe some of you are signing a contract to make a commitment for a term going into the new year maybe uh, a term position so very interesting very intense for the week of last week of December now coming right off the hop you have the energies of the seven of wands in the reverse position the seven of wands upright this is a very defensive energy where we're kind of on the defense where we're sort of protecting our privacy, protecting ourselves, maybe even protecting another person. When it's in the reverse, however, this is beautiful. I like to see this card uh, reverse because this is where we're coming out of that uh, need to protect. I've been seeing this a lot in the Scorpio readings lately. I think Scorpios could be starting to soften up a bit um, after a very harsh few years. Scorpios are now starting to let down their defenses to a, a degree, as much of a degree as Scorpio feels comfortable with. But um, maybe just no longer feeling the need to be so protective, so self-protective. Maybe Scorpio is starting to let people in, let the joy back into their lives again. Very nice. And if you were protecting a certain person, maybe you're no longer protecting that person anymore. You found your freedom and you're moving on. Now, the next card you have up is the King of Wands in the upright position. This is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. This um, King of Wands could be very important to you in the early part of the week. This could be a love interest. This could be a spouse. This could be a family member. Uh, a best friend, what have you. But the King of Wands in the upright position, this could even be your own energy. It could be that, um, you know, the, the King of Wands takes action about uh, certain things. So maybe some of you, for example, maybe you're uh, realizing if this is your boss, for example, maybe this person uh, wants you to start traveling or doing some traveling uh, for your business for whatever reason. For others of you, this could just be the King of Wands just sort of stepping in, sort of taking command, taking control of things, and uh, taking action. But this could be your own energy as well, Scorpio. Maybe we could just see you taking action towards this commitment. So, very interesting uh, start of the week. Moving on towards the weekend, um, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Seven of Swords upright, this can be... Um, representing an avoidance sometimes this card will come up when we're trying to avoid people it is holiday time maybe you're trying to avoid people or you were trying to avoid people or people are trying to avoid you but we're no longer doing that and when the card is in the reverse position we're starting to just I see a lot of um, release here at the beginning of the week so maybe for some of you maybe some of you were avoiding the king of wands and now you're no longer doing that for others of you this could be like I said somebody who was um, 
uh, avoiding you or it could even be sometimes this will come up when we've been avoiding a situation that we didn't want to deal with it and now we're sort of facing it head on so yeah there, you're no longer avoiding something some of you maybe it was the commitment <laughs> maybe that's what you were avoiding and now you're no longer doing that and the last card you have up that uh, brings out the re closes out the week and the year for you scorpio is the eight of wands in the upright position eight of wands is really nice energy i do like this energy it's very fast moving very fast paced and scorpio do the Scorpios do like things that happen very quickly and, and fast movement. Scorpios are, can be a little bit impatient sometimes, but this can represent anything from maybe some of you right at the very end of the year um, are making travel plans because this can represent travel plans. Maybe you're on the go. Looks like a very hectic um, week for you, especially towards the end. Uh, with the king of wands here i mean he's all about fast movement and taking action and then this is a lot of action a lot of correspondence this can represent sometimes arrows of love find their mark maybe some of you are um having this intense relationship with this king of wands and and this is uh you guys having a lot of com uh, communication back and forth for others of you this could represent um it is New Year's Eve energy. Maybe you're just uh, hearing from a lot of people and maybe you're out and about and, and uh, communicating with a lot of different people. Others of you, um, this could just be representing like a lot of fast action. That's what it seems like. It's, it's very fast moving, very intense energy. And some of you could just be hopping on a plane on New Year's Eve and, and uh, going off and getting married. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to let me know in the comment section below. I hope this reading helped you, Scorpio. And uh, if it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I would like to take this moment to also wish each and every one of you a very happy, um, very joyous and magical end to the year here. Uh, I wish you all the best. I hope uh, you have a fantastic, fantastic uh, start to the new year. And I want to thank you all for your uh, love and support throughout uh, 2018. Much appreciated. Much love, guys. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you soon.